Hello everyone and welcome to the tutorial. Today I'll be going to teach you the very basics of DaVinci Resolve Particles and how to add them to your game edits. Now this is going to be an intermediate tutorial, so you should have the basics of DaVinci Resolve down already. So first things first, you should have your clip with your VLOAD on already. I'm just using this really basic one here. Open it in Fusion page and add a camera tracker here. The camera tracker is a studio only feature. So if you're on a free version of DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna have to use Blender for the tracking. I'll link a couple of tutorials for that in the description. And you can back, come back after watching those. Then connect the clip to the camera tracker and add a polygon mode. With the polygon, go over all of the hard elements or any moving things such as this character over here. So then just keyframe the mask over the whole clip. And now, once you're done with that, click on your camera tracker and uh, enable preview auto track locations. Then just bring down both of these sliders a bit. Something like this maybe. Uh, enable bidirectional tracking and just hit auto track. Like that. Now go over into the solve tab and hit solve. This will take a couple of seconds. Once you're done with the track, you can clean it up a bit with these sliders here. Just select the tracks and hit delete. And now you can resolve it to get a bit cleaner track. Now the solve error you're looking for over here is anything below 1. So 0.15 is really good. And once you're happy with the track, go into the export tab and just hit export. So now you should have your these six nodes or if you used blender only these three nodes now you can delete the ground plane you don't need that and then hit one and two on the merge node to view it on these little coordinate things right click and hit camera 3d to get into this view and then also disable the grid by right clicking and going 3d options and grid so now we can start adding our part particles and in this tutorial, I'll only cover the B emitter and B render, but maybe in the future I make some more advanced tutorials. So, add in your B emitter and connect it to B, B render, and then connect that to the merge 3D. Now, if you select the B emitter, you see this tiny little red dot over here. You can scale it up in the region tab of the B emitter here, maybe this is to 5 to see it a bit better. This is the area where all of your particles will spawn in. And as you can see, all the particles are tracked in because they are in the 3D space here. Now you'll want to change the region and move it wherever you want your particles to be. I like using the cube one because it's the easiest to control. So just bring this, all this up a bunch with this slider here, with these controls. Try moving it where you want it to be and play around with the stuff like that this is this is pretty good to see the particles a bit better go into the style tab and here change it to angle and the circle one you should have these bigger blobs over here so first things first go to the first frame then in the control tab keyframe the number at any, something like a hundred or however many particles you want and then move one frame over and keyframe it at zero here. The lifespan is basically how long the particles live from the point they spawned in. I like the setting this to the same number as your composition, so you can add some stuff with the... Uh, yeah. Then in the velocity tab, this is where we'll start adding some speed to the particles. So if we bring this up, something like one, as you can see, the particles start moving, like that. Velocity variance adds randomness to how fast they move. So if this is something like 1.5, some of the particles move really fast and others move lower. Maybe bring this up and you can see over here is a really slow particle and here is some fast particles. Then in the angle, you can change it what direction these are moving in. I'm gonna set this to move towards the camera. So type in 90 to the angle C like this. Okay, then in the angle variance, uh, we can add a bit of random direction to this. 
So if we bring this up, you can see they start moving in a bit of a different direction. So maybe bring both of these to something like 30. And now you can see they don't all move in the same direction. And that's about it for the controls. Then over in the style, this is where you can make the particles look a lot better. With the color controls, if the color is really simple, just this. Color variants, by moving the sliders you can add some randomness to them. Like that, you can see they're not all the same color now. Then the color over life, this is where the lifespan comes into play. So when the particles spawn in, we could make this maybe completely white. And towards the end, they could transform into this purple uh, or like blue. So as you can see, they slowly start changing color towards the end. Like that. The size controls, size really simple. Size variance, this again adds some randomness to the size of the particles. Size over life, uh, same thing as the color over life. We, we can maybe make the particles become smaller towards the end. So they kind of disappear here. Yeah. And that's about it for the BMeter, or at least the useful features on it. Now, to make this a bit more interesting, we can add in a B turbulence. This basically just adds some random movement. So bring these values up to something like maybe 3 And the density uh, This is kinda hard to explain but I'll still try It's basically the same as the fast noise The density is the scale slider So if the density is high uh, It kind of looks like this the random movement So they're moving Changing directions really fast But if the density is low Like this The particles are going for a long time in the same path uh, if that makes sense Just play around with the sliders until you get something you like And yeah, that's that's pretty much the basics of particles I'll maybe make some more advanced tutorials uh, Showing how you can make some actually cool effects with this But hopefully you can get started with this 